With 3 million tickets sold and over 1 million visitors expected, the eyes of the world are on Qatar. 64 matches spread over the month in what will no doubt be a feast of footballing action. But what will the experience be like for fans coming into the country? Hello there, welcome to Football Now from Doha. With just over a week to go until the World Cup kicks off, we thought we'd take a look at what the fan experience will be like during the tournament. Now, the host country have been preparing for this for over 12 years now, but as the first ever Middle Eastern World Cup, what can those expect when visiting the country? Oh, they're going to expect an absolute spectacle coming over here, that's for sure. There's going to be a lot of activities apart from the games as well. You have tickets for the game, well, good for you. If you don't have tickets, well, again, even great for you because you have so many things happening over here. You have the FIFA Fan Festival. It's going to be an exciting part of the whole tournament. I'm sure the fans are going to love it. For sure, they can expect a lot of fun, huge and mega events of entertainment and fun for all over the world. Uh, hospitality is part of the Middle East. So, yeah, they will welcome everyone. I think the fans are going to underestimate how well this World Cup is going to go. The fan zones that are popping up just behind us here in Albida, the main official fan zone is massive and you've got the massive giant screens. The other private events that are going to be going on are world-class DJs, the artists. Qatar have really put their thought and effort into bringing the attention to the entertainment side. You know, there is a lot of things to do in Qatar. People just need to do their research. And yeah, I think the people of Qatar will be very welcoming to all the fans from all over the world. But it's not just in Qatar where supporters can feel a part of the action. FIFA is putting on a number of worldwide fan festivals, including an outernet in London, where those in attendance can combine watching matches with a nightclub experience. Meanwhile, the open square of Plaza La Republica will bring fans together in Mexico City. Eight years after hosting the competition, Rio de Janeiro and the iconic Copacabana Beach will once again provide a perfect backdrop for fans in Brazil. 500 kilometers west in the Vale do Ananangbu Park brings together the old and new parts of Sao Paulo. East Asian fans haven't been forgotten either. The underground S factory in Seoul will be buzzing on a match day. In a short trip from the host country, Dubai's waterfront will offer supporters spectacular views of the city. Now we've ventured a kilometre or so down the road to one of the tourist hotspots here in Qatar, Souk Wakif. Now the Souk is known for its traditional architecture, small local markets and regional restaurants as well. It is definitely one of the places that you should visit when coming. But here are some of the other things you should do in Qatar. There are loads of things to do in Qatar. It's certainly worth visiting the cultural village Katara, which has plenty of heritage sites, including an opera house where you can sometimes catch the Philharmonic. It also has an amphitheatre, a beach. There's loads and loads of things to do there. And then, of course, it's worth visiting one of the museums. There's also the National Museum of Qatar. There is the Museum of Islamic Art, which is an architectural masterpiece. And for those football fans, it's worth going to the Olympic and Sports Museum. The Corniche has recently been pedestrianised, so it's worth going to see some of the activations there. There are dances and performances. And of course, there's plenty of other things to see. What about the Pearl, which is a man-made residential area with its own private beaches, plenty of restaurants there too. And of course, we can't forget shopping. The place Vendome Mall, which we're at now, is one of the most luxurious places in Doha. And the final item on our list is to take a trip on a Dow boat. Now, the Dow is one of the Gulf's traditional vessels. A trip like this will cost you around about 20 euros for the hour or so. And the views behind me, as you can tell, are pretty special indeed. Now, hospitality is a big part of the culture here in Qatar. Fans will have the option to try a range of cuisines from many restaurants, including this place, the Curry House. It's run by Welsh football fan, Roger Williams. Qatar is the most welcoming of countries. Doha is the most welcoming of cities. Qatari people are the most welcoming of people. And there is some apprehension. People are travelling out of their comfort zone. Many people haven't been to an Arab country before, to a Muslim country, and, and sort of try to take on board Islamic rules and Islamic culture. That's all I would say is embrace it and, and not to fight it. I think people would be surprised because until you experience a country, you know, you can read all you want in a book or on the internet, but until you actually live that experience in a country, you don't get it. And people will be surprised for the better. 
That I am, I am 100% certain. And my advice to everybody is to come here to Qatar and not to worry about what you can't do. Just be yourself, enjoy yourself, but just be mindful and have respect. And I think what's going to strike a lot of people is that the beach is so close to wherever you are in Qatar. And if you're here in the middle of the city, it's, you know, three, four hundred metres away. Come and see a match, come and enjoy a bit of food and beverage, have a chat with some friends, and then pop off to the beach. Have a few hours on the beach and then come back and watch the later match. I think that versatility in everybody's itinerary will become apparent and people will realise because everything is so close, they can just make those changes like that. Well, that brings us to the end of this week's show. Do let us know your thoughts at home using the hashtag FootballNowFans. Plenty more World Cup content coming your way here from Doha over the next month or so. We'll see you next time for more Football Now.